Hello grade twos. You've been learning about money this unit and I know that we've talked about money before in class and you, probably, and you already know all about money and the names of coins, everything that we've reviewed, but I just want to show you and go over with you again how to count quarters. They're a little bit trickier than the ones and the fives and the tens, so you can practice it with me. I, I have some quarters here. And counting quarters follows a pattern. So once you know the first four terms in the pattern, then you'll be able to just repeat that as you get bigger and bigger. So I'm gonna start with 25, and then 50, 75, 100. So those are the four terms that are going to keep repeating. 25, 50, 75, 100, and then it starts again. 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, and it would just go on and on repeating those same four terms. So if you can memorize those, 25, 50, 75, 100. If you can memorize those, then you should be able to continue using those same four terms to count to higher and higher numbers as we get more and more 25s or more and more quarters. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you about is when you see money in a collection like something like this, say, I'll just put a few coins here. All right. So, in a case like this, where there's all different denominations of money in a group, what you want to do is you want to always organize your money from highest value to lowest value. And you'll notice if you look back in your book a bit, they've done that for you for your first few pages as you were still learning how to count money. But eventually you're going to have to be responsible for putting them in order yourself. So starting with the highest value, so I'm going to put all my 25s in a row first. Then I know my next highest are dimes or tens, so I'm gonna put those next. And then fives or nickels. And then my ones or pennies. And I'll just arrange them like that so then I can count them easier. So starting over here, I'll count by 25s first. 25, 50, 75, 100, 110, 120, 130, 135, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144. So that's 144 cents or one dollar and 45 cents. So always making sure that we're counting from highest to lowest denominations when we have a mixture of different coins. Have fun counting your coins today.